Hello friends, till now we have read the straight line method in which we have learned how to uh, find out the rate of depreciation and in the second question we have read how to compute the depreciation, how to prepare the machinery account and balance sheet as well as when there are more than one machinery work given to you. In our this question we will learn First of all, how to compute the depreciation while the depreciation is to be computed as per the written down value method. Apart from that, now in this question, one thing more is to be added as we guys are clear how to make the machinery account in a simple question. Okay, so at last in this question, we will learn what will be the treatment in case sale proceeds are done. That is the machinery you have bought will be sold or that part of the machinery or any of the one machinery was sold okay so what will be the treatment how to compute the profit or loss how the depreciation was to be computed on it and uh, where the profit and or the loss is to be settled with okay so friends this is uh, the basic concept in the question what we are going to do now so be prepared now i am going to take a question and after that we will read it and solve it okay Okay friends, so here's the question which states that a company purchased a machinery for Rs. 80,000 on 1st April 2015 and decide to write off at 10% annually. It means being write off, it means uh, we are writing off the depreciation, okay? And the rate of the depreciation is 10%. Now whether it is straight line or the diminishing value or that is your written down value method, annually on the diminishing balance method okay so with this line it is clear that it is the written down value methods question on 1st July 2017 a part of the machinery valued in the book of firm at rupees 16,000 on 1st April 2010 was sold for rupees 10,000 okay now the important thing to be noted is here it is being said that the part of a machinery means this machinery which was costing rupees 80,000 a part of it which was costing rupees 16,000 was sold for rupees 10,000 okay so it means here we are given that your first machinery was broken into M1 and M2 okay means here being only a single machinery was given and we will break it in M1 and M2 where your M1 is of rupees 16,000 and remaining that is your 80,000 minus 16,000 being your 64,000 are to be taken as the balance okay as the amount of the as the cost of the machinery on 1st April 2010 was sold for 10,000 and this was sold for 10,000 after 3 years okay Show the machinery account in the book of the company for the year 2015, 16 and 17. Accounts are closed each year on 31st December. Okay friends, so here we are required just to prepare the machinery account. Okay. Okay. So now let's start the solution of the question. Before that, I'm, as if I'm making the format, you guys just go through with the question. And uh, I'm making the format till now. So here I have made the following columns where on the debit side and the credit side we are required to write down date, particulars and amount. Again date, particulars and particulars and amount. Apart from that what will be the heading? It is your machinery account right okay so now let's start with the solution of the question the year is your 2015 2015 your starting year is 2015 on what date you have purchased on your first april okay first april 2015 you have purchased machinery costing rupees 80, 18 sorry 80000 which we have bifurcated in your two machinery to bank M1 and to bank M2 right 
okay where your first machinery was for rupees 16000 and second one was for 64000 okay now apart from that coming towards the calculation of the depreciation here in this book you were given that your book will close on 31st december okay so december 31st computing the depreciation by depreciation m1 and m2 see friends it is in in case you are not bifurcating it here it it is not wrong because your question you are basically your books prefer that uh, you are not required to bifurcate but here as if it is the written down value method i am bifurcating it here because it will help me in for uh, in future as if uh, by, by calculating the amount of depreciation for the selling period it will be easy for me to find out the balance right because here we are able to find the balance of one by one machinery so it will become easy to calculate but yes it it will take a little bit it is basically a little bit lengthy because we are here and we are basically doing it with uh, by making it two machineries right so it will be a little bit lengthy but it will be uh, easy to solve the question and even it will provide you a correct answer okay so the depreciation will be it was 10 percent right okay so 10 percent on your 16,000 for how many months for nine months it will be 16,000 into 10 by 100 into 9 by 12 will be your 1,264,000 into 10 percent into 9 by 12 will be your 4,800. So the total of the depreciation is your 6,000. Okay. So uh, here you will write down by balance CD for your M1 and as well as M2. So 16,000 minus 1,200 is your 14,800 and 64,000 minus 4,800 is your 59,200, right? Okay. So the total here will be your, it was your 80,000. Eighty thousand, and here also it is to be eighty thousand. First of all, secondly, your total will be seventy-four thousand, right? Okay, and yes, you guys can see that here it is your eighty thousand as well. Now. Uh, it is your December 31st, right? Okay. Now transferring the balance on uh, the next year's first date, which is your 2016 January 1st, because the year ends on th uh, December 31st. So to balance BD, M1 and M2, it is your... 14,800 and it's your 59,200. The total is your 74,000. Right? Okay. Now coming towards the depreciation side. 2016, December 31st by depreciation M1 and M2. Amount of calculating the amount of depreciation for the first machinery that is 14,800, 10% of it will be your 1480, right? And here it will be your 5920. The total is will be your 7400 because here we are required to compute the depreciation for the complete year. Now, December 31st by balance CD. M1 and M2. Your total should be your 74,000. Here as well it should be 74,000. So it means that uh, the balance is your, here it is your 13,320 and uh, subtracting 5920 uh, from 59200. Uh, it will be 53. Two eight zero and the total will be sixty six thousand and six hundred and you can see that the total will be 
see that is 50, uh, 74,000 both the side now transferring this here again 2017 January 1st to, uh, to balance BD M1 and M2 for M1 it is your 13,320 for M2 it is your 53,280 right 13,320 okay so the total was 66,600 right okay in the question it was given that on 1st July 2017 you have sold the machinery for rupees 10,000 and which machinery it was your M1 okay so 2017 as if you were selling while purchasing you uh, you basically write down as if the entry will be the machinery account debit to bank right so that's why we have written it as to bank okay apart from that in case we are selling that machinery what will be the journal entry the journal entry will be sales uh, machinery account debit to sales right sorry uh, bank account debit to machinery right bank account debit to machinery so being a machinery account what will be the entry by bank because we are selling the machinery on which date on july 1st july 1st the machinery was sold for rupees 10000 for this machinery now first of all we are required to compute the depreciation on the same date july 1st what will be the depreciation here I am uh, doing the workings as if the machinery's cost was uh, 13,320 being the written down value method we are required to compute the depreciation on the balance BD on, of the same year okay so the 10% and how many months it's your January, February, March, April, May, June because on July 1st we are selling it it means July will not be taken so 6 by 12 now the uh, total will be it is your 666 six, six. yes okay so the depreciation charged on it is your triple six fine so you guys can see that the total value was 13320 and till now uh, as if we will subtract the current value on the July 1st the value will be 13,320 minus 6666 and uh, it was still more than 10,000 because it will be around your 12,000 something right okay so now we are uh, bearing loss over here so being a loss we will write uh, we will debit the loss right so uh, and, and on the credit side of machinery account our debit items will be written on the credit side so by p and l is the account name in which we will transfer the loss so in bracket we will write down it loss and what will be the amount of loss it will be 13320 minus 10000 mi minus 666 and the uh, uh, total will be 264 uh, yes 26 and 54 it will be your value uh, the it will it will be your loss on july 1st from machinery first apart from this our next uh, transaction is here is to be on december 31st which uh, as if we have left with the machinery second so by depreciation m2 here you are required to write down m1 m1 both okay so m2 uh, the depreciation on m2 that is your 50 T2000, 53,280, 10% on it will be 5328 and the balance by balance CD will be 47,952. Now next turn is to total both the side. Here it is your 66600 and here it is also as if it was 1320 and yes. The total will be six 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 double zero. So, friends, this is uh, this uh, this balance will be transferred to the next year. Here, you guys have learned what will be the treatment. How basically one will post the selling entry here in this question. What was important was the new transaction here was relating to the sale, which for which we have posted these three entries. Okay, friends. 
Well, in further class as well, we will learn about the same still here. It being a simple question, hope you guys are clear with the concept of written down value method as well as the same, right? Okay. So till here, hope you guys are clear with the concept. For the further uh, classes, you are required to download our app Scholars Learning, and it will help you in sequential studies as well. Thank you. And in case you have already downloaded our app. Hope we guys are able to provide. Uh, hope we guys are able to benefit you with our classes. Thank you.